The first quarter was actually a good quarter on the account of the bank and the insurance company as well. On the bank side, we've seen lending growth, uh, lending growth specifically in mortgages outside of the Netherlands, retail lending in Belgium, and uh, uh, lending growth in the commercial bank across the whole globe, basically. We saw uh, a lot of uh, savings coming in again, uh, 8 billion in, uh, in new savings coming in, which uh, shows how strong our savings machine is. Then on the results side, uh, we have been able to improve the uh, net interest margin, as we call it, the difference between what we pay to our customers and what we earn on the lending side. And the good news is that we see lower risk costs, uh, lower risk costs across the board, um, which basically shows that the structural uh, improvement in the economy is coming. So on the insurance side, we see an improved result in both the life company in the Netherlands and the non-life company in the Netherlands. Um, and we see uh, the cost actually decreasing, and that is because of the transformation program that we launched two years ago. So the effect of the transformation program to improve efficiency, specifically also in the Netherlands, we see that uh, coming into the result right now. On the sales side, we see the sales, the commercial performance of the insurance company, we see that increasing as well. So we have higher sales, 20% higher sales versus the first quarter of last year, both in uh, Japan as well as in Central Europe. Now clearly we were also making further steps in the restructuring of ING. Uh, one of the steps that we have taken is the further sell down of our stake in the insurance company in the US, which we had to deconsolidate. And as a consequence, we had a loss on the deconsolidation of that stake. On top of that, we took another step in uh, making the pension fund in the Netherlands further independent from ING going forward, which is also important as part of the split of the bank and the insurance company. And we had to make a one-time payment in order to make it independent. And both of them cause the net result to be negative. However, the important message is that also in the first quarter we see very strong underlying net results, both on the insurance side as well as on the banking side. Well, in the many countries in which we work and in which we are active, we see the economy growing again. So we see economic recovery. But it's fragile. It's fragile because of the slowdown in the emerging markets, so on the export side. It is fragile because of the tension around Ukraine as well. And it's fragile because in the end, you need the domestic market, the domestic demand also to pick up. And that really depends on how the labor markets will develop. Because unemployment is always one of the signals, uh, the decrease of it is a signal of economic recovery, because you can predict then demand to come back. And it really depends on how that develops going forward. But we're generally positive but fragile. Also on the restructuring side for ING Group, we've made a lot of progress. We sold down another piece of our insurance company in the US. Uh, we're now down to 43% in Voya Financial. Uh, we made another payment to the Dutch state. We only have one more payment to go. And we are on track preparing NN Group for the IPO. And as part of that, we're happy that three large investors have committed 1.3 billion to NN Group, which shows the attractiveness of that company as a standalone company in the future. So the strategy of the bank uh, is really geared towards earning the primary relationship from our customers. I'm talking about earning the primary relationship, which means that we have to deserve it. And for that, we have to deliver perfect services every day but we also need to be at the forefront of the development in technologies and other areas. And for that, we're happy that we have a person on board, a new COO on board, to help us there, to improve and innovate. To give you an example, we have just finished the pilot of contactless, pa contactless payments in the Netherlands, which is something we have done in other countries already. And an example of our purpose to empower people to stay a step ahead in life and in business is, for example, that in Turkey we have a training program of family businesses to help them run their businesses and be more successful going forward, which is also a copy of things we have done before 
in Belgium and the Netherlands. Well, both examples are evidence that the essence and the purpose of ING is to empower people to stay a step ahead in life and in business.